Yo, Nakama around the world. Welcome back to Conqueror Saki Corner. It's your boy Vim, myself Rook. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Surge, conquering the Americas. Miami! Know this. We're here to bring you another chapter review of One Piece 927, The Courtesans Kamuro. Woo! Man. Well, before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Come on. Give us a like if you like that chapter. We sure as hell did. If you like Conqueror's Hockey Corner, we're going to give a big shout out to everyone that's been following us so far. Thank it helps us much. out quite Appreciate a bit. You. If you can't remember what happened in the last chapter review or, you know, just want to catch up a bit, you can find that down in the description or find it somewhere up here. But shall we get into this? Let's go. Let's do this. Quite a lot to cover today. Yeah. Very, very interesting chapter. A lot has happened. A lot of information today. Has been given, yeah. What does it's, it lead to? It's, it's very much giving us an open dialogue to predict and prepare. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't always enjoy a cover um, arc, but when you see Gop, come on. Yeah. You can't not like it. No and he's manhandling a bear over some salmon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just really like the monkey family, man. Yeah. The D's, the monkey D family. Gop's just doing what he needs to do to eat. Perfect. Boom. Also, pen name Noda Skywalker. We mentioned it in a live reaction, but I'm gonna say it now. Oda, Noda. And I don't know about what Oda does in his pastime, but is he a Sky <laughs> is he a Star Wars fan? So is he yeah, trying to yeah. do his own little alias name that he's got going on that he only uses on the side? Probably trolls on YouTube maybe. We don't know. Could we be, don't know. If you see that name um, anywhere, let us know. Noda Skywalker. <laughs> we see you. We got you, man. And just to take it back to the um the title here, the courtesans. Kamuro. So I think this is showing something that the focus is not necessarily on the courtesan, but the Kamuro. But we'll get into that in a moment. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Sanji, back into the Wano country, the flower capital. And this particular island, Sanji's obviously got a huge land still, leading off from last week. People are still enjoying the soba that he's creating, delicious, delicious noodles. We've got half the crew here, Frankie, Robin, and also all enjoying the food, having a good time, just still having a conversation. They bring up Luffy. Is there any more news? Yeah, because I haven't heard anything from him for a little while. Although, at the same time, they don't actually look too concerned. There's an, no. he, can, he can handle himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they'll say, they said he'll be out in time for battle. Yeah. So they've got no real, real concerns about him. So they just carry on their whole conversation. Um, Obviously, Sanji trying to impress Robin. Same old, Same yeah. old stuff. You know, we've seen him before. Eyes all pouting, lips pouting, eyes all thing. This was funny. A little bit of banter between Frankie and Sanji. Don't you even care? Bastard about gathering the samurai for yeah. the allies. And Sanji like, yeah, 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 we'll figure it out. But you can see how much of an important mission it's like yeah, it actually he's, he's is. Yeah, he's not really taking it that seriously. Let's yeah. be clear. We have three characters into the scene. We have the Kyo Shiro family walking. So they're barging through the lines here so they're trying to extort is what it looks like extort they come over to sanji pay us for protection you're gonna need it what does sanji say i'm strong i'm good i'm strong enough so he can I'm handle strong. his own you can see the confidence in the straw hats. don't worry about protection yeah now what the kiyoshiro family does three members Kaku, Kuni and Suke, they don't really take a good liking to this. So now they started distracting everyone around them. They knock over the main person who needs to be into mention in this chapter who the title focuses around, Toko, who is actually a Kimura. So, which we'll get into in a second, but they take out Toko's food from her hand, yeah. knock it over, she's upset. At the same time, she's, she's smiling and crying. Which is a bit weird. What I thought about this one is that it heavily reminded me of um, Koala, if we go back. Yeah. Remember when she was saved by Fisher Tiger? Makes sense. She was crying, but she was smiling at the same time. Don't worry, I'll clean it up, I'll clean it up. Which makes me think, do you think there's some type of slavery going on here at the same time? Well, it is an oppressed country. We have got slaves in prison, slaving yeah. away. We've got people that are working in the mines. We've got people working overtime. Is she just another child in the system? Damn, it's interesting. We'll see how much of a role she plays later yeah, on as well. because yeah, it does seem like the chapter is focused on her. Yeah, moving on, we've got Sanji and Frankie. So they took out Kuni and Suke. Kuni got kicked to the face That's and made... Good. And Sanji said to him, if you, you're you going to eat all that food you put on the floor, mm. I'll make you eat it. And Suke got front of suke out. Got the suplex. 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 He got done. The funny thing about this is that it just looked like the straw hats wanted something. They, they, someone to start you, something. You know, you know the troublemakers are hot. There you go. Um, another interesting thing about this is they mention, do you know whose country this is? Now, in the last chapter. Whose island? Whose island this is? Yeah, whose island this yeah, belongs yeah. to or whose yeah, island, island this is. Yeah. And then we had a, a silhouette. So was this one of them 
Or was that someone else? It remains to be seen. We also go back into now, obviously, once they've been taken care of, um, Sanji fixes up Taku uh, little bowl, yeah. gives her the food. She obviously explains, like, I'm running late, but I had to eat your food. I'm so happy I ate it. Oh, guess who I am? I'm a Komuro for a courtesan. If we then get a breakdown of what courtesan is, a prostitute of the highest level. I would just taken a dark turn. <laughs> this is getting very, very interesting. We're talking about geishas, quote unquote play. We don't know really what they do in the room, but we know that it's not that deep. But when you mention a courtesan and you told us they're a prostitute, you know the levels of how deep he's going now. And then we've been exposed to the Komura, which is of the lower stage who the courtesan starts teaching and takes them on as a So the oppression of the people and the themes we're seeing of how women are being oppressed as well in the country is we're going to see a lot of rebellion and a lot, a lot of rebellious characters being shown. I think this is the time now where, again, the prophecies are going to be trying to be fulfilled and the straw hats are playing in action. A lot of people are going to start seeing the actions of our main cast and sort of being riled up and the fire is going to be building. Because you got to remember when Sanji kicked the guy in the face, he's like, that guy's strong. So is the swordsmith Then in, yeah. in um, reference to Frankie. So they're in awe of the strength of these individuals and the fact that they're causing trouble. One thing we didn't mention was the Kiyoshiro family is a Yakuza. We're going to get into how specific we want to be about this because we're going to be introduced to the leader who we previously seen mm -hmm. as Robin has mentioned because this leader of the Yakuza was actually slandering Orochi but he's under Orochi so the question is which side will he fall onto because they're not actually obliged to follow under anyone they could do what they want they're they their could, own family Yakuza are gangsters they do what they want if they have the opportunity to rise to the top what stops them from doing it but will they see the rise of the Shuras the rise of Kozuki clan and decide to fall under them because it takes out, takes out Orochi yeah. we'll wait and see how it unfolds maybe an alliance maybe an alliance or maybe they just play their own role roll their own dice and take try to take them everybody out Yakuza are gangsters yeah, yeah. gangsters cool moving on uh, we've got Toko again brilliant funny character as you mentioned similar to Koala's um, personality and as we're talking about the courtesan when Robin's master comes into play we're describing the courtesan as very beautiful the elite of the elite it reminds me similar of how Hancock is described oh yeah for real. her beauty is beyond now this kind of makes us think is this natural beauty or has she been gifted this or is it a devil fruit? She blinds people, she makes them bleed out, nosebleeds, but you know that's a given anyway when people are looking at these girls. Especially Sanji. Yeah, especially Sanji. <laughs> he might lose her more life than he can gain at the moment. We also, obviously, we don't get to see the courtesan. Yeah. It's just very shadowy figures. Toko then joins her and she says, oh, where was you? I missed you. A little bit of a conversation between them two. Um, she leaves a trail of bodies, yeah. as we've just mentioned, of men who have just been blinded and have left our nosebleeds. Crucial thing before we get to the final part, Robin has got a pass to Orochi's sitting room. We've got someone who's infiltrated into the castle. A side little part to play, a different part of the island, but what will she gain and what will she be able to do in that room? Yeah, another thing that's actually come to mind is who says um, Toko is no assassin? Is that a distraction? What role would Toko play? She's definitely happy to have been given the food. She's definitely a potential ally, but how much of an impact will she have? As an ally. And who was she ally with? Yeah. Now we get to the courtesan. We get the courtesan reaching the Orochi's um, castle. And we have Orochi himself appear. Funnily enough. He has a very different form. Multiple heads. I mentioned this in a live reaction. We have got a potential Hydra form. Mythical zone through. Hydra comes stems from the Greek mythology. Hercules himself had to face the Hydra. Cut off their heads. But they kept regrowing back. Orochi. If you cut one part of him. It comes back twice. Oh. That's a dangerous yeah. dangerous devil fruit and a dangerous person to have it yeah and what's interesting is um if we take it back a little bit we had a stage of where we saw that vegapunk had successfully created an artificial devil fruit is this vegapunk's work has orochi consumed a real devil fruit or an artificial devil fruit that's come from vegapunk himself damn that's very interesting i would like to hope it was a mythical zone based on the hydra and the greek mythology but We've seen Monosuke take a dragon, artificial devil fruit, and be yeah. a dragon himself. So the plausibility... Do we have more dragons in Wano? Do we have... Oh, how much <laughs> more dragons can we have, man? Yeah. Is there more hiding? What do you guys think? Let us know down below. What do you think of the chapter? A lot of action-packed stuff. A lot of just things that will set up for the future. Again, we've got the Yakuza's in the mix. Oh, I can't believe we forgot. Kyushura told us that. Oh, Queen. Yes, we've got Queen. And I, mean... I, I called it. I said to you lot... Is it Queen's Island? Yeah. Is it Queen's territory? Queen versus Sanji. That's what we're going to face. Guaranteed. Order as well. Kyoshiro said to send 
no, kill assassins. Assassins, so. but those assassins. But those assassins, although they will cause a commotion because they'll be taken out by whoever the remaining star is, also Sanji and Frankie, Queen will show up. Yeah. This is why it's funny because Kiyosh, Kiyoshiro wants to cause a commotion because he's got underlying plans. He's a very, very sneaky character in terms of being having his own plans of his own family movement and his own Yakuza rising to the top or allying with other people. But it remains to be seen. Again, let us know what you think down below. We have got a very, very long wait. We will be back in the new year bringing you some more One Piece Live reaction and reviews when the chapter comes back. But do not forget us because we might bring you some in-between stuff of predictions for One Piece. Don't forget to smash the subscribe, subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that hit like, like if you like that chapter, if you like One Piece. And please don't forget to share our, our video if you can. It gives us a lot of support. But for now, it is a peace out.